Hi everybody, welcome to Darling Bear Designs, and by everybody I mean my zero subscribers. Uh, today we're going to be making a customizable monthly calendar using Word. I recently got into physical planning and I was instantly obsessed. You know, I was visiting all these Etsy shops, I was going to Michael's practically every day, and then I couldn't quite find what I wanted, so I thought, you know what, I'm pretty good with Word. Maybe I can figure out a way to make my own planner. It's more cost effective, I can add what I want, I can use the images I want, and I can just print it at home. Today's tutorial will show you how to make a basic monthly planner that you can change, you can add, you can take away, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so let's jump right in. First, you want to open your Microsoft Word. We're going to go to Page Layout and go to Margins because we want to change the margins so that you can maximize the amount of space on a page and use as much as the paper as you want, but leave enough for the hole punch. Okay, so after you click on the margins, this box should pop up. For the top and bottom margins, you want to type in 0.5 inches. For the left and right, you want to write 0.75 inches. Okay, so now the page should look like this. We're going to go back to home. I'm going to change the font because we need a placeholder. I like to use this font called Alex Brush. It's free and it looks really nice. You can download it from Google Fonts. Uh, we're going to change the font size to maybe, let's do 20 for now. After you change the font size, we're going to go back to insert, so the insert ribbon right there. Click on table and a box should show up. You want to go down to insert tables. Click on it and we're going to do four columns and seven rows. So now we have our tables. We're going to merge the top two cells in the corner there. So click and drag right click and where you see merge cells click on that okay so we're going to do the same thing for the next two cells click and drag to select and then right click and select merge cells now we're going back to home we're going to type in march 2019 because it's march right now and you know it looks a little bit small so let's select that and change the font size I'm going to use 36 today. And that's how it looks. Okay, so now let's adjust these boxes down here. I want you to go to the last row right there, hover until you see the double arrows, drag it to the right above where the corner marks are. Now click in that last box, do you see it? Click in that last box, drag it all the way to the third row, Go to Layout, right there, click on it, and we're going to click on Distribute Rows. This should make all the rows even. There you go. Now we're going to go back to the second row, click and drag to the left. We want to center the text, so go to Home and look for the button that looks like this. Click on it, and there you go. I like to type Wednesday just to see if it'll fit in the box because it's the longest day of the week, and it does, so we're going to leave that. And it's really empty here, so I think we're going to put some maybe checklist boxes there. First, let's take away the borders around March. You want to click on this button right here, and this box should pop up. I want you to select top border, left border, and right border. So one more time, click top border, left border, and the right border. And we're going to do the same thing for the box right next to it. So in here, I'm going to change the font size so we can fit a couple more boxes in. I changed it to 18. Now we're going back to Insert, Table, the same thing we did before, and I'm going to select one column, two rows. 
And now I want to align all the text to the right. Click and drag and go here. And this time we're going to pick this button right here. Click on it and it should align everything in those two boxes to the right. See? Okay, so now we want to take away those borders. So the same button, click on it, and I want you to select outside borders this time. See? And now all those outside borders are gone. So now let's add some check boxes. You want to go to insert, click on shapes, and this box should show up. You can pick whatever shape you want, a circle, a square, a triangle. I'm going to pick hearts today. I like to draw where I want to put the boxes. So click and drag to draw the part. Now we're going to resize it because I want it to be a little bit more even or squarish. So to the far right, I don't know if you can see, um, after you drew the heart, the format ribbon showed up. Where it says height, I'm going to type in point 0.2 and width, I'm going to also type point 0.2. You see the heart changed. So you see the heart is slightly above the line. It's not really in line with text. You want to change the text wrapping. Look at where my mouse is. It's like a little picture of a Scotty dog on a page. Click on it. And I want you to select in line with text. The top one right there, the top option. And there you go. It snaps right to the line. Okay, now we're going to copy it. So you can do it the regular way, right click, copy, and then click on that bottom box, and right click, paste. Okay, so now you see we only have one side of the calendar. So let's, let's go ahead and double that. Click on that last box down at the bottom, click, and drag all the way to the top so you select everything. It should look like this. Again, right click, select copy. And then click on the next page. Right click and select paste. If you're like me and you like to keep your hand on the mouse and use keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to show you another way to do it. Click wherever on the left page, Control A, Control C, click on the next page, and Control V, and you get the same results. You can change March 2019 to whatever message you want. Stay motivated, make it happen. Whatever motivational message you want to write to yourself. So we're just going to fill in the days of the week now. And again, with keyboard shortcuts, instead of individually clicking on each box, you could just hit tab after you finish writing the days of the week. And this last box, we're going to change to notes. You remember earlier when we were merging boxes? We're going to do it again. So click and drag down, right click and select Merge, Cells, and there you go. Let's take away the borders now. Same place, but this time I want you to select right border and bottom border. Okay, now let's add some color because a lot of those monthly calendars have the weekends in a different color. Click on the box underneath Sunday drag it down. I want you to go to this paint can right here. Click the down button next to it and pick whatever color you want. I think I'm going to go for that light aqua color. And because we already selected the color, to do the same for Saturday, you don't have to click the down button anymore. You can just click on the paint can one more time. Select the top row with the days of the week, and we can just click on the paint can, and it'll fill that up. And again with the other side, and we're all set. This is the basic monthly calendar. 
Um, I hope it was helpful to you. I hope it helped you save some money. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Be my first subscriber. <laughs> In the next tutorials, we'll learn how to customize it more. We'll learn to add more customizations. You can change the border colors, change the font colors, even add some background images. Okay, see you guys next time.